In this problem, we're given that f of x equals 2x squared plus 3x minus 1 and g of x equals 6x minus 4. And we have to find in part a f minus g of x and in part b f minus g of negative 2. So let's look at part a. We need to find f minus g of x. This is the difference function. And what is the difference? Definition of the difference function, f minus g of x is defined to be f of x minus g of x. So basically now all we have to do is substitute this expression in for f of x. So instead of f of x, I'm going to write 2x squared plus 3x minus 1, sorry for the bad handwriting, that was 2x squared, and then I'm going to subtract g of x, and you must write this parentheses here, because you're going to have to subtract everything in this expression from f of x. So I have subtracting the quantity 6x minus 4. And now when we write it this way, it's going to make sure that we're going to distribute this negative into this parentheses. So what do I have? I have 2x squared plus 3x minus 1. Then I'm going to distribute in the negative. Negative 1 times 6x is negative 6x. Negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4. So you can see that distributing a negative into this parentheses just changed both of those signs to get this expression. Now all we have to do is look for like terms. Do I have any like terms that go with 2x squared? No, there are no other x squared, so I've got 2x squared. How about 3x? Does that have a like term in this expression? Yes, negative 6x. And what's 3x minus 6x? It's negative 3x. And lastly, is there a like term that goes with negative 1? Yes, it's 4. So negative 1 plus 4 is 3. So my difference function, f minus g of x, is equal to 2x squared minus 3x plus 3. So now in part b, we have to find f minus g at negative 2, or the difference function evaluated when x equals negative 2. Since we already have the definition that we found in part a for the difference function, all we have to do is plug x equals negative 2 in here and here, and I will have evaluated the difference function at negative 2. So I'm going to get 2 times, remember x is negative 2, negative 2 squared, minus 3 times x, which is going to be negative 2, plus 3. So now it's just arithmetic. Remember you square first. So it's 2 times negative 2 squared is 4, minus 3 times a negative 2 is plus 6, plus 3. So 4 times 2 is 8 plus 6 plus 3. 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 plus 3 is 17. So the difference function evaluated at negative 2 is equal to 17. That is not the only way to figure out the difference function at negative 2. We could have figured out the difference function at negative 2 by saying that is equal to the function f evaluated at negative 2 minus the function g evaluated at negative 2. And I could have figured out f of negative 2 by plugging in a negative 2 here, here, and here into the function f. Then you'd figure out g of negative 2 by plugging a negative 2 into here and here. And then you'd subtract the two answers. But the reason I picked the method I did is we'd already figured out the definition 
of f minus g of x. So it was simpler just to plug negative 2 into the answer to part A.